In 2015, this bicycle was discovered thinking it was art, when in closer examination, realized this may be the first time she never invented. The first attempt at time travel was believed to be done by Dr. Joyce Brown, a mathematician who believed she could break the timeline. This is her story. She would work through many years of advanced research, trying to figure out the equation to break the timeline. The discovery that a bicycle would be the perfect platform to build the time disruption circuit. Now all they needed was the reactive chemical to activate the flux capacitor. They believed it would be an undiscovered element, element 119. It wasn't long before she would discover how to break the timeline. On version 289, the circuits were integrated into the wheels, activating the capacitors. The wheels would prove to be too weak. Trying to synthesize element 119 would prove very unstable. It had the potential to open up a wormhole within the laboratory, and unfortunately did just that. It was rumored that she was trying to build a time machine, so German soldiers were constantly on the hunt for her. And now unfortunately, they knew where she was. Removing the bicycle from the warehouse and as much information as she the laboratory could. was a total loss. Special agents would arrive at her home, and in her attempt to escape, she was shot and killed. Now that Hitler had obtained the time machine, and Dr. Joyce Brown was dead, they believed that the secret was kept, but what they didn't know is Dr. Joyce Brown had a son in 1938, Emmett Brown. Immediately after birth, Emmett would be given to his aunt, where she would take him away to Switzerland. She was detained and questioned, but then she soon was released. Due to her scientific experiments, Dr. Joyce Brown, she would have to remain in Germany. Unfortunately, she would never see Emmett again. No one 
would attend her funeral due to the fact that Nazi soldiers were searching for other scientists. When soldiers obtained the bicycle, they did not get all the parts needed to make it work, so it wound up getting crated and stuck in a warehouse for 30 years. Here in 1972, it would be opened up. Not knowing what it was, it was believed to be a piece of artwork. It was sold and shipped to a gallery in New York City, where then it would be purchased by a private collector. As Emmett Brown would grow and learn through schooling, he would pursue his work, his mother's work, Thank you. 